just mounted it then. So there's the tweeter cup with the focal tweeter not pushed all the way in, but there it is mounted there. Now that's where they're going to sit height wise. Now it's that high off the dash, which isn't that high really, um, because the other side's got a clear kind of the cluster there. So that's how high it's going to sit, just there. And then obviously now I will fiberglass this one mold. It'll go, it'll sweep down into there. It'll curve into this just a little bit, okay? Curve up so that it's one molded piece. All right, so now that we've got the Tweety Cups mounted, we'll be uh, prepping them for the, well, I'll be using a grill cloth actually on these, not a fleece. Now reason being is fleece is awesome, um, but it's quite thick. Once, it, once the resin is in it, it's two, three mils thick. And on these thin bits of plastic, like there, I need them to stay relatively thin so I can actually still get them back in the car. So I'll be using like a grill mesh, uh, like a grill speaker cloth. So you'll see it in the video. Uh, but anyway, so first thing I'm going to do though is rough it all up, sand the crap out of it all. Um, with a, of a high grit, like or a low grit, should I say, like a 40 grit or 60 grit. So it's all rough, so it's got something to grip to. And then I'm also going to drill lots of holes um, in in certain areas. So like when it's when the when it wraps around here, I'll have all the holes drilled around here so that it seeps through, so that it gets a good a good grip on it because um, fiberglass and resin doesn't stick that well to plastic. I'll show you a little bit here of how I'm doing it. A little hesitant about wrecking the uh, Tweety cups, but whatever. Hey, okay, so I've got the air compressor, I've got my die grinder, and I've turned the air pressure right down. So she's only spinning at a slow speed, so that it just scratches it. Um, if it was spinning quick, it might it'd sand it down more. I just want to scratch the crap out of the top of it. So as you can see there, I've just scratched it. Let's compare to there. And there we go. So there's both A pillars, both ready cups, looking like shit. All roughed up. And yeah, okay, perfect. So I'm going to blow those off um, so they're nice and clean and uh, then I'm going to go start uh, stretching some uh, speaker grill stuff over them, you'll see. Uh, I'm going to use hot glue to, you know, actually attach it all. Just fiberglass. I trimmed the stuff like in, in there so it didn't go into that groove. Trimmed it there. Obviously I'll body fill it you know, smooth. It's the same with that one. Uh, I did actually leave it go over the end. So whatever, uh, but anyway, there's a rough, they at least glassed now. So obviously I'll body fill in little grooves and shit, that's alright, I, I knew I'd have to do that. The rage gold's really simple to sand, so it's not a problem. Um, the only thing I'm not happy with is there's a slightest amount of movement in it. It's not strong enough, so um, I don't, not having that, so I'm going to put a bit of glass on there, um, a bit of like a mesh fiberglass so I can tighten that up so I'll just re-resin that with a bit of fiberglass to make it stronger and there's the mesh you can hardly see it on there but it's there you can see the mesh I ended up doing the entire thing just in a layer um, a few blobs on that one but that's all I can do I don't have to sand it down but anyway so that's that so we'll just let that set again and uh, then this should be strong enough to to sand that down and then uh, add some put some raised gold on and start body filling and we are ready to start sanding this one's very good actually there's not too many high spots that I've got to get rid of and just there's a bit there obviously I've got to fill that but that's fine that's nothing this one's got a few ridges there in it like blobs I've got to sand down uh, but it's not too bad again um, but yeah all right so today as, as I always do almost when I do a build I go and buy a new tool so I did again today, today I went and bought a little sander, a little palm sander here. This is a DeWalt. Um, I have got a sander, I've got a, like a third sheet sized one, this is a quarter sheet. Um, but I can take this whole black thing off, um, the whole vacuum airbag, dust bag, um, if I need to get in tight spaces. But these things are really good. This one, again, you just get a roll of sandpaper, like that, you roll it out, you know what I mean, cut it and then you just lock it into the metal tabs so you can just put any grid in and then if you want to get the holes in for the vacuum it even has like a thing and then you like stamp it in and then gets rid of those gets those holes for you so cool we've got a little DeWalt there we'll see how that goes covering myself in baby powder because we're about to start sanding fiberglass and if you don't do that you will be very itchy alrighty so there we go that's uh, sanded the glass down if 
fiberglass. That one was the one that had the lumps in it, so that's all sanded. That one's got really, it's really good there anyway, so I didn't actually sand that. A uh, bit of body fill around the fronts of them. And those notches, the little holes, are actually where you can get a flat blade in and uh, pop out the tweeter. So again, I'll make them look pretty later on, but right now I'm just cutting them out so I know where they are for future reference. Um, but yeah, uh, no, coming along nicely. Um, cool. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna wax some Rhodes Gold on it and uh, get body filling properly. All right. So after a good bit of body filling, so. That's the Rage Gold spread on there pretty smoothly. Um, and then I've kept it out of this bit here, which is where the rubber seal goes. And then what was left over, I just spread it onto this one. So right now it's just gonna work on this one, but may as well give him a bit of a coat. Um, cool. So, so as you can see, it's already quite a good shape. So there's not gonna be too much work. I mean, it's all gonna be fine detail work. Pretty much done with the electric sander. So we're down to hand sanding now. So I will have to add some more body fillers still to little pits and stuff. Um, but we're getting getting somewhere, that's for sure. Um, if I was in a carpet them, they'd be getting close. I won't obviously can't carpet them, but you know they're that kind of sanded to that kind of stage. I'm gonna vinyl wrap them, so we don't have to make them paint ready. We just have to make them smooth. So little tiny dots don't matter, like pits. Um, but as long as they're nice, you know, uniform, smooth and everything, so... But no, they're, they're coming along. So, I've wiped them down with a wet rag. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is give them a quick coat of white undercoat paint. Just so I can see if there's any major uh, dips or anything I need to take care of. Um, I realise there's small pits and stuff, but they're not really worrying me. I know I can see them anyway, but... So I'm going to give it a quick spray so I can really see it um, once it's one nice colour and after I fix those whatever little spots there are, if there is any, uh, we should be good to wrap it. That one's pretty good. There really isn't anything wrong. And then this one just here, that little spot there, as you can see, is not on the other one. Uh, just there. So I've got to fill that. So obviously not wrapped, but there's just one of a tweeter in it. Alrighty, time to wrap it. So I have painted the glue on, the uh, contact adhesive on both of them, um, so that I can get a pretty even spread and smooth spread. If we don't want any real lumps, so that's pretty smooth um, with the brush. So a lot better than it would have come out with the gun. So we're gonna do this half. We're gonna mold up from here, and then I'm gonna try and stretch it all around that. If I do that way, I end up with a lob, like a lump. If I go this way, so I could do this perfect, and then end up with a lump. I've been like dry doing it, seeing what had happened. If I go this way, I should hopefully I'll just stretch it over, it, and then that's easy. All right, this is about an hour into wrapping the second one, so I got that all perfect. Um, I got the front, and I actually got the inside this time a little better. There's a slight wrinkle, but as I say, this is just ridiculous amount of stretch, um, and then that's all good. And then right there, which I haven't actually stretched it properly, is where we have, again, the main wrinkles, which is on the top. Um, so the least visible part. It's just, well, I'm still happy I did it in vinyl, because it looks better than, it still you know, matches the car, it looks better than paint would have. But, um, fucking hell, what a pain in the ass just doing this amount of stretching. So, um, yeah, that's again where the wrinkle will be. Wrap the other one. <laughs> Ran out of time. Um, but it fits awesome, the whole panel, tight as fuck, it ain't gonna fall out, so, but cool, there's the tweeter there, uh, yeah, alright, that's that one, as, I'm, I'm pretty happy, considering, um, I, I had two attempts at it, the first attempt was just, uh, there, I first attempt, I, I went from the back, and went this way, and it just was pointless, I gave up and ripped it all off, second attempt though, at least, uh, it, it's it's not bad, you know what I mean? Considering the amount of stretch that needs to be on the vinyl, those few wrinkles there and the corners, I'm gonna have to put up a bit. Just so you know, the tweeters aren't pushed in at the moment. I've just got them hanging out just so I can pull them out. There's no point forcing them in there now when they're, they're not wired up anyway, so they're just sitting in there. There's the two of them finished, wrapped. Um, yeah, so 
They look really good. I'm not going to show them in the car for this video because there's no point. Um, it's dark anyway every time I get home from work. Um, but they fit like a glove. Obviously, they're molded to the factory panels. So they click straight in. Um, the seal runs right up the sides of them. And they fit great. So they, I, I put one in yesterday um, just to have a look. But yeah, they, they fit really well. They look like a factory panel, but with a tweeter molded into them. This one came out awesome. Um, that one, as I said, has a slight bit of wrinkling on it that I can't get rid of, but, you know, it's very hard to wrap these things. So, you know, by, by a bit of wrinkling, we're talking that, just in that corner. So, you know, considering the amount of, of shape on these, I'm still pretty happy with them overall. So, cool. Uh, these are probably the hardest part of the build, as far as because of the wrapping goes. Um, obviously more time might be spent on other parts of the build, but as far as um, of, of, of trying to get things right, these are probably the hardest, because the doors are going to be quite straightforward, um, trying to keep it kind of f straight, if you know what I mean. The doors on are very, very flat doors, so we're not going to put a lot of shape into them. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, so there's no point installing them anyway, I haven't even got an amp in there for them yet, or speakers to go with them. So right now that's it, those those finished. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that build. Coming up next will be, instead of doing the custom doors, I'm actually doing power windows first, um, to, so that I've got more room, because I won't have the winders anymore. So power windows are coming up next for this, for the wagon, and then after that will be custom doors. The doors will be focal woofers, um, they won't be the KRX2 woofers, because to get four of those woofers I would have been looking at over a grand. So instead we're going to be going, um, by the looks of it, the flax woofers, which are the new ones. Um, which are the, the model below the KRX2s, but we're going to be doing four of them, um, but obviously instead of just two, if I was to buy the actual set, so we're going to have four six and a half inch drivers of the flax rather than one of the KRX2s, so it's still going to be more mid-base and more power handling combined, um, and it's still going to cost me less than half of the, flat, of the axle to get four of those woofers, so um, yeah, cool. So we're going to go those by the looks of it. Um, they're nice. They're a nice woofer. Um, obviously, still made in France and everything, just like these tweeters and everything. So, that stay tuned for that.